I'm now joined on the Sports Mix by the head coach of Musselman Football, Brian Thomas. Coach Thomas, your team unfortunately falls short 28-21 in a very back-and-forth game against Washington. Just walk us through that game. Yeah, I mean, I thought I thought we played a great game. I thought our kids played a great game. Um, you know, I thought, you know, I thought we executed a lot of stuff well. Um, you know, I'll be honest with you. You know, I'm, I'm the type of person that tries to be honest with a lot of that stuff. It, it's gut wrenching, man. It really is. It, it's gut wrenching to feel like you played so well. And you know, I'm sitting there watching the film the other day, and you know, you play a good game for three and a half quarters, and then. You know, at the end, it kind of fizzled, fizzled away a little bit. So we weren't perfect. We made some mistakes. But at the same time, um, you know, I, I thought our kids played great. It's just unfortunate. Um, frustrating, I guess. Maybe you should, I, I don't know what word to use that, that you're not on top and you can't get the win. You know, that part, that part's, you know, disheartening a little bit. That part, that part stinks when you work so hard and you're trying so hard and, and our kids are doing just a great job. Uh, you know, you want to see the results, but you know, I'm, I'm, I am proud of the effort and how they played as a team. You mentioned kind of just that pain and feeling that you have, knowing that you had the lead, but unfortunately, let it slip. And unfortunately, as well, it's not the first time that kind of has happened to you guys uh, this year at home. Just walk us through though this game, though. What did you feel like? I guess was the reasons behind uh, just kind of losing that 21 to 15 lead that you had going into the fourth yeah you know you the, you know first thing that you mentioned is you mentioned being in that position this year and i told the kids after friday night's game you know we're you know we're 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 really close to being four and five right now you know we were we were in in the loudon valley game and the loudon valley game was a one score game in the fourth quarter and i really felt like man we like we could you know we can win this game um you know i felt like at the time and we didn't and the cabell midland game you know, we played really good once again for three and a half quarters, and then the last couple minutes it fizzled away, and then the other night. So, you know, we have one win right now, and those are three games that if we get some bounces in those games, uh, you know, we, we could we could potentially be four and five. You know, it's at least in the conversation to have. So, uh, we you know, we've competed, but, you know, unfortunately in, in sports – there's a winner and there's a loser in the games. And, you know, we, we came up short in those games, but, you know, as far as the other night's game, uh, you know, hats off to them. They executed some things. Their run game was clicking a little bit in the fourth quarter and they ran the ball at us and we were out of position. Um, you know, part of that's because of good things that they were doing. And then part of that's because a couple of mess ups that we had. So, uh, you know, I, I really think their run game kind of took over a little bit in the fourth quarter. And we had a couple, we had a couple miscues at times when we, needed to have great plays on our on our touchdown drives we were we were flawless and we punched the ball in and we you know we drove the ball and had long sustaining drives and on the you know there were I think three times that we were in their territory that we had a mess up play and then you're behind the sticks and it's hard to recover from that what are some things though that you can take from uh the game Friday against Washington and build off of going into this week's game oh I think effort I think I think effort easily. You know, you, you I think there's a lot of other teams throughout the state or, you know, maybe even in the world that, you know, are sitting there with one win under their belt, you know, almost going into the last week of their season that it'd be really easy to, to fold up and to quit trying and, and you know, it'd be really easy just to kinda hang your heads a little bit and, and our team has not done that. Our team continues to fight and our team comes every day and we've had we've had really good practices over the past several weeks uh you know and, and we've gotten better with our performance in games so you know the biggest thing i take away is just the the resolve of our kids the fight of our kids just you know their their effort on a day in and day out basis uh continues to you know continues to be a positive but you know at the same time it continues to to impress me and, and excite me let's now take a look at this week's game you guys head to Parkersburg matchup against the Big Reds. Uh, what have you seen so far from them this year? Yeah, you know, they're a solid team. They're a really well-coached team. You know, we've had a series with them now. Uh, we've actually played them a lot since I've been been a head coach here. You know, we matched up with them in the playoffs one year, and they got a different coaching staff now. But we've matched up with, the, uh, you know, we've matched up with this coaching staff now that they have. I, I believe this is the third year. So they're doing a lot of the same things that they've done in the past, which is which is tough to defend. Uh they you know, they give you a bunch of different multiple looks. Uh they give you a, 
motions and shifts. You know, they really make you think. Uh, they, they spread the ball around to, to different guys. Uh, defensively, they really pin their ears back and get after you a little bit. So, you know, our, our, you know, we got a big challenge ahead of us. You know, it's it's a long road trip. It's uh, it's a good team that that's sitting there in front of us. That you know, we got to be we got to be ready to play. What are some other things maybe that uh, stand out to you uh, when you've gotten to look at the film of Parkersburg this year? Or who are some maybe? key spots in particular that have stood out to you uh their quarterback play you know they they had a really good quarterback last year and they graduated him <clears throat> excuse me and sometimes you expect you know to see a fall off at the position but you know i think they've done a really good job i think they're really well coached i think you know from the quarterback spot they've done a good job they have a uh quick quick little running back you know they have some some taller receivers so you know that that that'll present some problems you know on the offensive line wise they're not huge but they're aggressive uh, which, you know, is, is, a, is a good recipe to have. Uh, you know, and defensively, they have a couple really good defensive ends. So, you know, they're they're a really good football team. You know, they're going to be amped up. They're going to be fired up. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a home game. It's at their place. It'll be senior night, I'm sure. So, um, you know, they're, they're a good football team. What kind of is your message or approach uh, heading into this week for your team? What are you hoping to see from them this week in practice heading into this game? You know, we, we really want to continue to have good practices. We've really preached over uh, really the second half of the season. We've really preached to the kids that, you know, uh, on the high school football level, your practices have to kind of lead you into games. So, you know, you, you can't just you can't just come out and expect to, to flip the switch and show up on a Friday night and be great if you're not great Monday through Thursday. So I'm really looking forward to – uh, seeing our team practice this week, I'm really looking forward to seeing, you know, how how do we come out? What's our focus going to be? You know, what's our what's our effort going to be? Um, you know, which which I I pretty pretty much think I know the answer to that already. But you know, I'm just excited to continue to see our team uh, grow in a positive manner. It's the final regular season game. Still have postseason coming up here in 4A with everybody making the playoffs this year looking back uh or kind of going back to the beginning of the season what are some things that uh you see now in your team here at the end of the season that you maybe didn't expect to see or uh anything like that um oh man that's a good question um knock on wood we are the healthiest we've ever been um i i don't believe in my and and I've been I've been a coach here at Muscleman 18 years and I don't know if we've ever went in to the last game of the season 100% healthy. We don't have a single injury right now. Um so that that's just it's crazy to think about that. That's just that's that's unheard of. Uh but we don't have a single player that you know not anybody. I'm not. I'm not talking about starter. I'm not talking about single kid. Um, you know, and we and we're we're aggressive through the week. You know, we you know we we pop, we hit. Um, you know, we you know it's not like we it's not like we're going it's not like we're going in shorts and t-shirts every day. So you know we we do some things aggressively. So it's just it's just insane how you know to, to think about that. That's one of the things I never thought that I I would see. I don't know if maybe that's. Maybe that's not the answer you were thinking of, um, you know, more of a scheme question. But, you know, that's just that's just insane uh, to think about that from the start of the season and now, you know, staying healthy. I, you know, I think from a scheme point, we've seen a lot of kids grow up. We've seen a lot of kids mature. Uh, we got kids in spots that at the start of the year is kind of like, ah, you know, will, will this work out? Is this going to be a good mix? And, and they really – They've really grown up. Um, you know, our kids have really matured a lot and came together as a group. All right, Coach, anything else about this week's game? If not, we'll get to the fun question. Uh, no, I think that's it. All right, I'm going to go with the curveball for the fun question. And with mm. it being the last week of the regular season, allow you to pick a fun question for me instead of the other way around like we always do. So what's a fun question that you can think of? When do you put your Christmas tree up? When do I put That's my Christmas question. tree up? That is a, That's a good, good, question. good question, and uh, it's going to be a lame answer. It's whenever I can uh, find the time to do it. Um, so I'll probably wait until December, but my family, uh, with us being all grown up now, we, we still like going out and getting a uh, real Christmas tree. Nice. So we wait until around thanksgiving break time when my youngest sister is uh home or right at the start of her winter break we'll go 
get the trees, cut them down, bring them in, and then start decorating. Nice, nice. I mean, that's, yeah, it's a uh, you get to that time of the year. You got your people that you know November first it starts. You know, for some people they wait till. Then you got your after Thanksgiving people. Then you got your people that wait till about a week before Christmas. So that's a yeah, that's a hot topic this time of the year. It is. I, I'm okay with Christmas music now, but I'm not putting up decorations just yet. No, okay. I got okay. So, I got okay. Yeah, I gotta got it. gotta oh. ease it into the season. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, Coach, for the time. Appreciate it, and yeah, best of luck Friday. Thanks a lot. Yeah, thank you. Have a good one.